Okay, Sticky here with tracks that will have you jumping like an impressive off the foil bridge. But before I start putting on some fat tunes in it, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to my niece, Leanne. Leanne's got a big test coming up, so I hope you're doing plenty of studying, wee girl. But how much studying will help you when you're getting tested for the AIDS, I do not know. And here's a man with a lot of heart, he's smart. He's a work of art and sometimes follows through when he farts. You know him as Pablo! Respect Pablo! <laughs> On tonight's show we have heavyweight boxer Martin Rogan. First thing fun. Man of the Dead. Ooh. Derek Akora. Sky Sean Spooky. Music in the live boudoir from Yes Cadets. Sand. Or Quiz Brain Dead. But first, some music. Okay, fine. Yeah. Right. See it again. Well, your ma takes a while to finish, look. Your ma's my dad. <laughs> right then, come on, let's do it. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, because I'm going to win this time. Not a chance. Right, go. All right, let's count it off. Three, two, one, get off. I wash my teeth special. Oh, God. You're not going to. Come on. No. You know you want. Go on, back down. You know you back want. Back down. Back you know down. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> the difference is you actually you want this. You want it. Okay, off champing. 2011. You want One me. L. You want sticky. <laughs> you want sticky. <laughs> Somebody has to. I'd like to apologise to any epileptics who were listening last week. Apparently, it's disrespectful to use them as rodeo rides for the kids. Really sorry about that. My comments uh, really seem to have shook some people up. Sticks! Oh, no, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, when some people heard them, they almost had a fit. Sticky! Oh, oh, oh shit. Here, yeah, the left's going. Who is it? It is none other than the hardest man in Belfast. Martin Rogan? Oh, I. But I'd take him. Uh, Our next guest is a heavyweight boxer who didn't think he'd be good enough to turn professional. Then he beat Audley Harrison to a pulp. So he's still not sure. Please welcome from Belfast, Iron Man Martin Rogan! Smoking area, huh? Yes. Grab a few. Why do you keep me waiting in the smoking area for? Sorry, that's where we have a non stop uh, joint rolling operation. As we call yeah. it, the playroom. <laughs> yes. So have you been fighting recently? I was fighting last Saturday. Yeah. How'd oh. you get on? Shag. Um, I won on points. Yeah! Yeah, we were there. Yeah. Uh, Lord Rogan, yes. tell me this, uh, what is the best Audrey Harrison joke you've heard so far? The best Audrey... Uh, Do you want to hear mine? Go ahead. What have Audrey Harrison and Michael Jackson got in common? They uh, both wear gloves for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> High five, my man. High five, Sir Martin of Rogan, you, you have boxed in both the Immaculata and Holy Trinity boxing clubs. Yeah. Tell me, are they in the Protestant or Catholic parts of town? <laughs> they're in, they're, in, they're in, the, in the Catholic parts of town. They're in West Belfast. Yeah. One in Turf Lodge and one in Lower Falls. And do you yeah. think, Rogan, that there's something about like people from Belfast? We're, we like a wee bit of aggro almost, don't we? Like We're, we're kind of good at fighting. <laughs> Never stopped fighting, do we? Exactly. Not, but thankfully, in the last 10 years, we've stopped. You want to see Pablo's moves when he's practicing for his back? Yeah, watch me go, watch me go. Look at him, look at that. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> How you do It's like a tango. Left foot, right left foot, left foot. Left foot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at me dance, look at me dance, look at, look at, look at me go, look at me go. Very good. Old Pablo here reckons that, you know, he might have a wee chance against you. <laughs> uh, I'll go easy on look you, Look at right? that, look at that. We'll fight Marcus of yeah. Sainsbury rules. Listen, I'll tell you what we'll do, right? Just say for the crack, right? Right. It's the heavyweight championship of South Belfast, right? You. Right. In the red shorts, in the blue, Pablo here. Well, brown shorts, let's, really. Let's, well, yeah, probably brown, brown shorts. Yes, it'll be brown after. Tell, tell, tell us this, right? So uh, let's pretend it's a press conference right before the okay. fight. You've done your way in okay. with your like, you know, all the all that thing. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're like doing a bit of slabbering and all that. There, <laughs> give us a wee bit of slabbering. And Pablo's just said that he like he's had a wee rat like your ma, right? And that she he loved had it. what? He's, that's what he said. I, have, I have had what they say in France. No, 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 petite, no, no. Petite See, there he goes. He's saying nothing about my mother and I, Pablo. Yeah, Pablo. Are they brown yet? Yeah, stay you brown, here. Are you brown? Have, oh, you you have you browned yourself? You do not want to look around this desk. No. <laughs> I tell you what. Believe me, the smell's enough. Would you, would you like to visit somewhere? 
Sticky, I think I've got squirty bum bum. Yeah, oh, you oh, have? No. You have. I think to. you just, I think you just started there yourself, you know. I've, uh, have you, you and never talk about the mother, nah. You talk about anything else, but never touch the mother. Is it ever okay to beat up a woman? Pardon? Is it ever okay to beat up a woman? No. Not your mum, but like a woman in general. Never, never, ever. But what if she's a bit of a melter? Sure, they are going to be all melters, aren't they? Well, and then most of you know, you can't love for that. I'm wearing melters too. Wise right? words. <laughs> so you must be away from home like a lot. And you've got a wee Bobby and all. Yeah. Is that not dif difficult for you to kind of, you Does know, cope with? Yeah. Well, she's a, she, she can't lighten the burden of, of what I have to do as well. And I have to work as a team. And don't, just don't be teamwork in the gym. It's teamwork in the house. You know, at home, it's teamwork as well. I cannot imagine you swapping the old boxing gloves for the marigolds, though. So, do you want to see me with an apron on? Oh, mate, I, don't, don't, don't uh, spoil nice, it. It's nice. You're my it's, hero, like. It's nice. <laughs> Is it one of the ones where we've pair of boobies and all on it? Oh, if you're... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rogie, don't go away. We're going to play a wee track. It's going to just melt that big off you. How long? Here it is, here. <laughs> Get down your bad self, Rogie. <laughs> Do you know one of the biggest tragedies in life, right? Do you imagine What's if Rogi had like a really good looking daughter? Oh mate, you just would not. Pointless, like. No way would you go near that. No. And like Martin McGuinness's daughter's gorgeous, right? She's a model. What, what's the point, like? Looks are wasted on her, who'd want to go out with her? Imagine how, if, if Martin McGuinness, if Marty says to you, right, yeah. I want our wee Michelle back by nine o'clock. Have her back by nine o'clock? You'd have her back by eight. Oh, yeah, oh you would I. Oh, you would I, you'd bubbly I. <laughs> Martin, you have said though that you, you can't you can't forget, but you can't forgive. Surely, a couple of more fights down the line, you should find it really easy to do both. <laughs> yeah, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried though? Seriously, though, no, Rogie. Are I'm you worried about taking? Do you know what I mean? You have, you're getting punched in the face for a living. No, Is it not sure. a worry? But sure, you're getting. Whenever I was playing horn, you would get the hit with a horn stick. Sure, yes. you, go out, you go out the road. Do you go out the street in the morning? You get hit with a bus. You well, know, yes, but not repeatedly round the chops. I know, but repeat. You know, but the, the objective of the sport is not to get hit round the chops. But unfortunately, yeah, I'm one of the ones that block punches with my face at things. <laughs> Tell me, Ishmore. I mean, do do you worry? And like, does your wife worry about you losing your your good looks? <laughs> I never really had them to start with, so we're not too fussed in that one, mate. You know, I'm closest to him. I'm the one who's going to take the baiting. <laughs> one thing I need to ask you, right? Go ahead. I, well, right. I'm kind of scared because it's a little bit of a personal question, right? Hold on, to get a bit oh, closer. Oh, jeepers. Oh, mate. Right. Go ahead. Pablo. Pablo. Maybe Go ahead. That, no. Uh, right. See, before right, I fight, say is, it true, oh. is it true that you're not allowed to like, have a wee bit of nookie with a missus? Is but that true? It, it's not the fact that it's true. I think it's... Uh, well, they say that it, most of your vitamins is taken when you do that. It takes out all your vitamins. What did you do? Did you do like... Uh, abstinence, or did you like get get, get a wee bit of Nicky? Uh, that's actually a personal question. I, I just I just kept reading. What razzle? <laughs> a lot. Red. Yeah. So you're allowed to be ham shank, like. Nicky, <laughs> <laughs> sure. you calling him a wanker? I certainly am not calling heavyweight boxing champion Martin Rogan a wanker. No, I, I was saying that by him asking you, did you enjoy a bit of five knuckle shovel? Was he referring to you? I, 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 was, I was not, Rogie. I swear to God, Every, I was look, not. Look, there's a lot of men out there like the five knuckle shovel. All the bits of news doing it for you. <laughs> is, that, is that why they bring a wee bucket on during the match? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, like, a wee bit no, spilled out. Just in case you're, 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 you're near and you're out in your feet and you stick your head on it. Well, <laughs> Give it a good well, shake. So, Rogie, where is next for your Lordship, His Grace, your benevolence, Martin yeah, I mean, Roganson? If we get the European title, which we're trying to get, then the only next step is a world title fight, you Whoa. know, and then hopefully, hopefully I can, I can close the gap and close all the people saying that I should never have took up boxing, and I should never think of getting world titles and never done that. I was, was never supposed to beat all the odds, I wasn't supposed to beat Matt Skelton, and I beat the both of them! Yeah. Rogie! 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 Martin, it's been an absolute pleasure. Brilliant. Totally, mate. And we absolutely love you. And love I hope you it, too. I really, genuinely hope that you just bit the crap out of everybody. Listen, Martin get me Rogan, back on the radio. I want back up here. I want you to bring me back whenever I get this European title. Martin, thank you so much. You, You're an Pablo, absolute legend. Thank you. Tickets have been in the post. Good Thanks man. Much, mate. Okay. Happy days. Bring don't, a belt back. Don't okay. hold your breath waiting on them. Pablo, show the man out. Wait. Martin Rogan there, ladies and gentlemen. As mentioned, 
Martin has actually beaten heavyweight champion Audrey Harrison. Of course, these days, Audrey Harrison has been beaten around the ring more often than George Michael. But still, moving on. Martin, uh, listen, Sticky's not looking at all, but... No. Um, what is it? Can I have a hug? Hug? Aye. All right. Uh, cheers, Martin. Thanks for the day. All right? Thank you. Take it easy, mate. Be careful, mate. All right. Don't go, Mari. I have to go. Come Stay here. with us, Mari. Look. Mari, see you later. Later. Mari. Bye bye. Mari. Martin. 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 That's probably one of the biggest myths. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's true, actually. The bigger they are, the harder they are to yeah. fight, really, because they're stronger. Big, I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone ever said that of Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson, he's a big lad, but I bet you he goes down easy. He no, no. Neck, no neck at all. He just had a head and then a chest. It was just muscle. It was a pair of eyes and then a chest. Yeah. Eyes and then nipples. That was it. That yeah. was it. And now for our next caller, who apparently doesn't want to give his name out. Got him my yogurt. I'm calling in a bomb warning. You what? I think you must have the wrong station, mate. Board him on a board fall shit. Look, just let the police know. You want me to tell the police something? Piss off! Sharon, Andrea, Caroline, Jim. Look, the police need to know. Look, when the cops question me, I'm more quiet than a Jedward fan at a Megadeth gig. My lips do less flapping than Stephen Nolan's belly when he's on a treadmill. <laughs> now, what were you saying? I'm Fubla. Doesn't matter now. Now on to the mystery quiz, where our caller has two minutes to guess our mystery item. Once more, we're playing with returning champion, Jags. Jags, are you ready? Ready! Your time starts... It's something that people will spend their last pennies on before they buy food. Um, is it water? No, it's something that people enjoy putting in their mouths and sucking on. Oh, in that case... It no, it's not that, Jags, not that. They're white and they're orange, they aren't very healthy, they're cheap, and some people find them strangely compelling. Um, Jordan? No, wait, 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 wait. Is it a prehistoric monument located in Wiltshire that is rumoured to have been constructed by Merlin and Arthurian legend? It isn't Stonehenge, no. Um, did it ever get really drunk on tequila and do a strip in a city centre bar, eventually falling on one of the bouncers and giving him a cheap thrill and a sexual infection? It's not my ma, no. It's bad for your health. Some people think this is cool, but they're wrong. And supermodels love this for no apparent reason. Um, Pete Doherty? Almost out of time here, James. Is it a pack of cigarettes? Boss, how does he do that? Ha ha, ha ha. They're victorious again. What? Oh, here, right, there's a lift moving. That must be a nice guess. Right, who is it this time? Right, it's a Bond. You're going to like this one. Right, okay. Right. Is yeah. it the Pet Shop Boys? No. Uh, is it Erasure? Mm, no. Is it the uh, romantic piano stylings of Richard Clayderman? As much as I would love that, no. Right, well, who is it? They're a Bond called Yes Cadets, right? Right. The class. Where do you see them? Where do you see them? Here, here they come. Right, okay. Here right. And yes, here Cadets! Are. Come on, Yes Cadets! Yeah! Yeah! Hi, Are you on your head? Hi, not too right, bad. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. They're looking, they're, they, look, they look lovely. <laughs> Told you they look nice, didn't they? And over four young ladies. I know, <laughs> lovely. Yeah. Oh, hold oh, on, some of them have beards. Lady beards. Here, uh, <laughs> you, you in the red dress, what's your name? I'm Lisa. Lisa. And yeah. here, you the backing singer? No, I'm the drummer. The drummer? <laughs> You're female drummer. I have a weapon, you be nice now. Are the rest of you boys not manly enough for the drums? <laughs> no. Uh, here, anyway, right? You played at the Oxygen Festival last year, is that right? That's right, yeah. How yeah, was that for you? It was a bit like the opening scene from, uh, what do you call it, Saving Private Ryan. Well, people get shot. <laughs> 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 right, tell us about the song you want to do for us today. It's called Lies. Lays. Or Lays. Lays. <laughs> and what's that about? He's talking all posh. <laughs> and have you, like, have you got signed the label? Have you got an album coming out? When can we see some more of Yes Cadets? It's out already, or maybe it's not. If, it depends where you live. You are in the <laughs> band, aren't you? You do know what's going on. It'll but be our turn. It'll be our turn. If you had Kenny and I go and step into the boudoir, uh, Sticky's boudoir, and let's face it, it's going to see more action than it has done in recent months. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Thank you very much, Yes Cadets. Go Cheers. and knock it out of the park. Yes, yes, right. Right. Give it the tea! Yeah, we'll keep her lit. Keep her lit. Give her the lot. Give her the heat. And if you feel like going taps off, that is okay with us. Taps well. off's fine. <laughs> but not for the bloke. This week, I'd like to apologise for shouting at Stephen Hawking when I saw him on the bus. I now appreciate that he had good reason for not giving that pregnant woman his seat. 
Here's Steak, did you know that if you drink like two bottles of vodka, you die? Of course! Who doesn't know that? My cousin Darren didn't know it. He does now, mind you. Oh, here's a lift again. Who is it this time? It's that fella from Liverpool, you know, the one who communes with the dead. The Skull Skulls Buster! Next up, a medium. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a man who communicates with the dead. So there's only one question we all want to ask him. Just what is Lady Diana wearing right now? Please welcome Derek Atora! <laughs> Hello, guys. What about you, Derek? It is brilliant to see you here in our city. Are you well? I'm very well, thanks, Siggy. Yeah, really well. Feel Excellent. Good. You are no stranger to the good city of Belfast. Can you tell the people at home how you have come to know our great city? Yeah, well, many years ago, Stiggy, I came out uh, with the great Alex Young, ex Everton player, uh, who signed for the great Glens, Glen Torren, player manager. And Alex was a good friend, and he asked me whether I'd like to come out to, to join him at the Glens, and I did. And for the time that I was here, I really, really enjoyed playing with the Glens. Where would you have went out, like, on the sauce when you were in Belfast? Did, did you enjoy a tipple or two? Yeah, just like anyone else, you know, uh, towards the weekends. Not in the week when you were training, but go out for a couple of uh, drinks and uh, maybe a meal and, you know, really enjoy it, you know, a bit of music, dancing. That's what life's all about, isn't it? Might there be a few little Derricks running about, probably in their 20s right now? <laughs> Only in my family, Sticky. Only in my family. When you were with Glenn Thorne, did you ever actually play alongside George Best? Because he did have a, I think he played like a testimonial or something. No, I didn't, unfortunately. But I played against George Best <gasps> when I was at Liverpool Football Club under the great Bill Shankly. Wow. And I'll tell you what was happening. I was playing for the reserves. We were playing up at Man United's ground. It was a Wednesday night game under floodlights. And Georgie Best was a young man that was coming through. He'd had an injury, so they were playing him in this reserve game. And I had the un unenviable job to mark Jordi Best. And he left me on my arse more times than I was standing up. <laughs> he was that fast, he was that good. He was better than your Pelés, he was better than you, you say. Jordi Best was the greatest footballer, all-round footballer and goal scorer that I've ever seen in footballers. And drinker. Unfortunately, how, how many players do have a drink too much? It's unfortunate. Mm. It's sad. Hold that thought, Derek. We're going to just take a wee short break for a banging piece of hard house music. We'll be right back. Okay. Wait, guys. To be fair, like, he was brilliant at drinking. Seems the best, mate. Better yeah. drinker than Pele. Yeah. Better than Messi. <laughs> if there was a World Cup of drinking, mate. He'd fill it up with drink. <laughs> <laughs> when did you realise you could talk to the undead? When I was a little boy, I had an experience in my grandma's house and a man appeared himself to me in one of the bedrooms and I thought, there's a stranger in my grand's house. Strange man in the bedroom? It's not going to end well. And it was my grandfather who passed away two and a quarter years before I was born. I didn't know him. Whoa. But you have, like, what, uh, is it called your spirit guide, Sam? Absolutely, he's here with me. He's what? here, Pablo, here, to the back of me. Huh? He's here at the back of me. Hello, Sam. Hey, Sam. He can hear you guys. Is he all right? Is he in good form today? He's a good man. Is he with you, like, all the time, like, when, you know, you go to the toilet or when you're no. being intimate with your significant other or something? <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't. He, you know, he gives my private times my private times. Whenever you pass on yourself, yeah. Derek, yeah. let's hope it's not for a very long time, who will you choose as your spirit guide? Well, I believe, Sam, it's going to be roles reversed. He's coming back in a new life and I'll be watching over him. So watch out well because Sam's coming back. Whoa. And this time it's personal. Oh, yes. Do you think Sam might actually try and do you in then? Try and like, steal your body or something? No, no, no. He's a good, friendly, benign spirit man. Are you very I, sure? Yeah, I've checked him out. I've known him for a lot of years. I've known Pablo for a lot of years, but I still sleep with one eye open. And he is right to do so. <laughs> Absolutely. Can I ask, can I ask Derek? See, like, in heaven, right, is, is Elvis, like, fat 70s Elvis? Or is he, like, skinny, good-looking 50s Elvis when he made good Elvis like anyone else, Pablo, once you go over there, when you go over there eventually, and you know, your good self, um, 
whatever age you go over, you can revert back to the prime of your life. So when Heather Mills goes, will she get her leg back? Everything's renewed, Pablo. Everything's renewed. I Whether you lose your sight, you lose a limb, everything's renewed. I apologise. That was quite a rude question there, that Pablo. Was, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, a question that's been on my mind since, since childhood. Yeah. Do all dogs go to heaven? Do all dogs? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. They've got spirit within as well. But there's, their kingdom is called the animal kingdom, which is separate to the human kingdom in the world of spirit. So the animals can't go into the human kingdom aspect of dimension, but the humans can go in and play with those animals in the animal kingdom. So you could go in and take uh, your wee puppy for a walk and all that? Absolutely, it's going Brilliant. on all the time. Yes, You'd be yes, able to go and see Pincher yes. again. <laughs> Although he's, he's probably, if somebody came near him, he'd probably eat them, even if they're dead or not. That's true. He was a, quite a violent puppy. Do you know what, Derek? What? See, believe in ghosts, right? Yeah. Class. It's Brilliant. Brilliant. When you like, you know, you do your, your, like you did, you took like girls allowed on like a ghost hunt, right? Mm. Were you tended to touch any of them and blame a ghost? Well, in actual fact, you know, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> oh, very pretty girls, aren't they? I didn't well, touch any of them. Well, four of them are. I, I, oh, I, I, you know. Pablo. <laughs> That's not anyway, fair. Anyway, Pablo, you know, that's the truth. I, I intend to do anything like that with those girls. I've always got my wife in the background. <laughs> you can imagine what she'd do. Neighbor. Even if I thought that way. I'd have left her in the house. <laughs> so, Derek, can you see our souls? No medium can see anyone's souls. You can see our souls? Your souls are hidden. But your spirit, within, I can see what type of guys you are. Well, can can I go see our souls? You're totally different, you two. Am I hearing things, or did he just say, our souls? Man, he's done programmes with boy bands. He should know what our souls are by now, like. <laughs> <laughs> So is there nobody, nobody in the studio right now? There's still, I've been waiting, I've been waiting, but there's still no one from the spirit world that I've stepped in, unfortunately. Come on, lads. Get the figure out. Is there anybody out there? Come on, please. Hold yeah. on, quick, Pablo, quick. See your left. There's an, an outline of a lady. I can't see her clearly, but I don't know if you can feel her spiritual hand on your shoulder. Because no. she's leaning her hand on your shoulder right now. Whoa. Yeah. She seems a friendly soul, although I'm not seeing her clearly. She's probably part of your family, probably uh, linked on your mother's side, grandmother's side, grandmotherly uh, feeling with her. And I feel that she calms you down when you get angry, when you want to throw things. She calms you down, she runs, Pablo, Pablo, it's, calm down, calm down. It's not his actual grandma because she's, uh, she's actually a McGabry for GBH, so it's probably and not her. And to be hard. honest, if there's somebody calming me down, it doesn't work very often. Right. Isn't that right, Steakster? That is correct. Derek, thank you very, very much for coming all the way over here and talking to us about our souls and all that there kind of thing. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Derek Akora! Pablo, thank shoot him out! Thank you. Must be weird, though. What? Going to work. To an empty chasm of despair with the cold, merciless eyes of the dead on you. I'm sure he's used to be played Irish League football. <laughs> Listen, Derek, thanks very much for coming along, mate. Legend, all right? Listen, uh, you're not going to leave anybody behind, are you? I promise you, Pablo, I'm going to take any spirit people out with me now. That's Shand. a promise. I've got to go now. See you later, Derek. See you, Pablo. Bye. Thanks to Derek there. Derek's spirit guide, Sam, has designer stubble and legs listening to Shirley Bassey. Confirmed bachelor Sam is also a lover of musical theatre. And a big shout out to Tony, who says... After splitting up with his girlfriend, he's never going out with a woman again. Interesting. You reckon you could be gay, Pablo? I don't know, mate. How would it affect my benefits? You really don't understand the whole gay thing, do you, Pabs? What are the hours like? <laughs> right, mate. What are we doing now? We are going over to tell the boudoir to uh, hear that band that we've seen and we're talking to earlier. Space Cadets! Yes, Cadets, mate. Yes, Cadets. There's right. a song called Let's! Yes. Underneath.
Tomorrow night comes from William Caulfield That's here on BBC Two Northern Ireland at 10 o'clock Meantime there's a knock on the door And a whole heap of problems for Lee Mack On BBC One Northern Ireland in 15 minutes In Not Going Out There's a Girls Aloud concert on the night Do you want to go? How would that be any fun? <laughs>